Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and we're going to talk about which version of Unity is right for you coming on to the new versions of Unity in 2024. Because you may be watching the video now at release or further, and you might have heard about the runtime fee. So remember, the key points are if you upgrade to Unity 2023 LTS, which will be released in 2024, you'll be on the new terms and conditions by Unity. So you will be subject to the runtime fee. If you stay on any version below 2023 LTS, say 2022 LTS, 2021 LTS, 2020 LTS, you're absolutely fine. You'll never be subject to any runtime fee, anything at all. You won't be on the new terms. But if you do upgrade to 2023, I'll quickly explain the new terms, but it's not as scary as you think. If you're using the free version of Unity, if you do make over $200,000 in a 12 month period, fantastic. You can upgrade to Unity Pro for $50 a month, whatever that price actually is. You've got an increase cap of $1 million in the last 12 months. And unless you earn over that value, do you then subject to this runtime fee that you might have been scared over, which is either a 2.5% revenue share of everything over that million, or it's on a per user acquired basis. So one user could install 10 times. That doesn't count as multiple installs. It's just per user. And you report all of these details yourself. And if you do end up making over a million, you're in the top echelon of games developers that have ever been. So with those two being said, you can stick with 2022, no terms, no runtime fee, but for the vast majority of game developers, say you're somebody new who's learning, you're absolutely fine. Remember, if you are subject to paying a runtime fee, you will pay whichever of the two tiers is lowest, either a 2.5% revenue share or a per users acquired. Whichever of those two values ends up being lower, you will pay that amount. And that is competitive and better with other engines that do a revenue share model. I'm not giving you advice on what you should and shouldn't do. I'm giving you the details so you can learn it all. And in the rest of this video, I'll go through exactly the terms and conditions have changed and exactly what you need to know. And if you've got any concerns at all, do leave a comment down below and I'll answer anything that you might have. Because Unity have updated their terms of service to take into account the runtime fee as of the 6th of November. So with the new policy changes, you can check the links in the description and there's two terms of service. One is old and one is new and you can compare the two and I'll just give you the details of what's changed in that. So there's two parts that have specifically changed. So the first change is provided you comply with tier eligibility. If Unity updates the software terms impacting your rights, you may continue to use your current version of Unity subject to prior accepted software terms unless the updated terms are required by law. So if you elect to update to a later named version of the Unity software, the most current version of the updated terms will apply and deemed accepted. So for avoidance of doubt, it shall be not considered an update to a later named version if you update to another version released within the same naming version, say 2022.1 to 2022.2. And you understand it's your responsibility to maintain records of establishing your entitlement. So what this is fundamentally saying is that if you do upgrade to Unity 2023 LTS, which will release in 2024, you will be subject to the new terms and conditions, which will have the added runtime fee. But if you're anything below that, you will always be on the old terms of service, which were the old rules. And then the next thing that changed that Unity runtime fee as detailed in the link does not apply to any projects created in any prior released version. Unity 22 LTS, 21 LTS, 2020 LTS, and all those ones I've previously mentioned, unless you upgrade a qualifying project, i.e. a game that meets the runtime fee thresholds of either 200,000 or let's say a million if you've got Unity Pro, and unless you upgrade that to the next major release, which releases in 2024 currently referred to as 2023 LTS and any associated betas, evaluation version, text stream or LTS releases. So if you do upgrade to 2023, a text stream beta or anything is still classified as the newest version. Now for clarity, Unity 2022 LTS will be officially supported until at least the 30th of May 2025 for pro customers, 2026 for enterprise customers. So as I've been saying, 
The terms of service suggest what was already suggested. If you use anything below 2023 LTS, you will not have any new terms, any new runtime fee, any new of anything to worry about. But if you do use 2023 LTS and above, it's not a big scare because you get the $200,000 limit. And then if you over that limit, you get that $1 million limit with the subscription to Unity Pro. And then from there, you either pay the 2.5% revenue share or you pay per user that acquires your product and you report these to them. So ultimately, if you're boiling it down and you're concerned about your game having a really massive success, you could stick with Unity 2022. But if you're a newcomer and you're just learning Unity, it's not a problem if you stick to Unity 2023 or whatever is the newest version. For the most part, most people are never going to exceed the $1 million. And if you do make a massive success like that, the 2.5% or the acquisition, whichever smaller, is not going to be a big detriment to your income ultimately because it's still cheaper than other competing game engines too. Hopefully you can take this forward to what you want to use. You can leave any comments down below if you don't understand anything at all. So thanks very much for checking this out. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything that you can find for this month. Check out my great assets on my website and on the Unity store. But on my website, you get over 20 to 30% off compared to the Unity asset store. Big thanks to all my patrons. Special thank you to Peter Steiner and all the amazing support from everybody else. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.